starting like with reading like Yiddish books or Yiddish literature, like not, of course, not like the full in Yiddish, but for example, with the help of Arturo, like um, I remember like one book, like it was like really, really important for me was like Itzhok Berliner, you know, the, like this guy of speaking about um, like Mexican living, but from the Yiddish language. Um, I was amazed. It was like everything so like actual, like it was like pretty modern for me, you know, even speaking a language that it was not supposed to be like so modern, you know. Um, so I was amazed and, and also like with illustrations from Diego Rivera and things like that. So I was like, I mean, this is me, you know, this is like uh, part of, of what I've been like. I've always considered myself like more Mexican than Jewish. But having like this conversation or like this uh, like this new discovery into Yiddish like made you know one big space big space like into my heart you know that like I have this identification with something that I you know I knew that it was there but I was not sure that it was like something um, like still alive and alive and. Yeah, and like pretty modern. So, so yeah, like he helped me, you know, finding like different pages. Uh, I remember that, like I asked him, like, you know, I, I want to be like more involved into Yiddish, like in Mexico or Yiddish in the world. Um, so I started like looking up for like different options, talking with the community, with the Ashkenazi community here in Mexico and also looking for programs like summer programs in the United States so you know I could start like seeing what's out there. 